Hello, hello. This is Lori from the Pink Curly Channel. <clears throat> I'm uh, sitting here at my desk singing It's Howdy Duty Time. Ooh, showing my age. Well, I think I might try to do something quick in my scavenger hunt book because I feel like I'm getting behind. Everybody's like tearing it up. And I haven't, I mean, I've been collecting things, but I haven't really done anything. Some of this stuff, I don't know why I put it in here. I think I put that in. Did I need flowers? I mean, I just don't know. Barbara, Barbara. Hello, hello. It's howdy duty time. It's howdy duty time. They're the only words I know. It's how to do the time. Okay, so look at this. I told my husband the next time he opened a can to save me the label. And he gives me a Campbell's soup cream of mushroom. And we need mushrooms for one of our pages. And also, you know, food label. So, what do you think about that jazz, huh? It's perfect. I think I have other mushrooms in some of those sticker books I have. I gotta get, I gotta get some of them sticker books out. If this is Janet's scavenger hunt, um, oh, I heard, I heard. I was looking at Janet's. You, you're one of the overachievers. You and Carol, you're done. You got 24 prompts on one page and I believe if I'm not mistaken Janet said something like you need help or you have a problem or something like that did she not mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well I'm not even close there's your little red wagon Okay, I'm. I always get. Are there two two wagon wagon handles? Because it's just. I'm just gonna say Renee, but it could be Cindy. I might need another can of pop. Pop pop. Okay, I'm not really ready to do the mushrooms yet, but I'm thinking something like this. I think I need. To find a couple of more, mu couple more mushrooms. My little red wagon is bumping up and down on my little red wagon. Don't, won't you be my darling? Won't you be my darling? I don't know. I'm thinking about drawing on the, on the coffee filters. And I really, I haven't looked at the list in a couple of days. Yes, Renee. Hello, Renee. It's nice to see you. You know, I could really glue this down, though. I'm going to put that there. Let's, let's find me a little glue stick. So how are you, chicklets? How is everybody? I got messing around today. Got distracted. Oh, my gosh. I'm so ADD. It's not even funny. <sighs> so, of course, I was... You know, last minute, getting everything put together. Oh, it's crooked. It's crooked. I was thinking I ought to post. Um, You're a new grandma. Oh, congratulations. What did you have? Oh, I hope we're talking children, not not dogs, although dogs or cats are nice too. I'm just saying. How exciting! Oh, I so would want another grandchild, but I'm pretty sure we're not gonna get any more. There's Kathy. Hello, can't stay. Oh, baby Ivy Jean. Oh, that's a cute name. 
Oh, congratulations, Renee. That's wonderful. And everybody's doing well. Okay, Kathy, you got something fun that you're going to be doing? I'm going to use some of your stuff tonight that you sent me. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. So nice. All right, I'm just fussing around here. I should have put those up top. Honestly, I can hear my husband. He's on the phone. He's going to call his cousin who he hasn't talked to in a while. And she's out in, I don't know if she's California or Arizona. She's out there somewhere. But I think he finished talking to her. Now he might be talking to his cousin who's local. But oh my gosh, my husband has such a booming voice. I know you guys can't hear. There's Jen. Oh, you've been feeling yucky. I'm sorry to hear that, Jen. Just can you sit back and relax? Your second grand and both from my only daughter, all is well. That's wonderful. Is your first grand um a girl or a boy? Oh, your sinuses. Uh, do you have one of those neti pots, Jen? Can you rinse out your sinuses with a neti pot? That works for us. Nowhere to hide. Okay. So this is a start. My soup label. And some mushrooms. Let's see. Okay, this is how anal I am. If this was my, and I'm not, you know, I'm not busting on Janet. Your first grand is a boy. How nice. He's 20 months. Aww. I have the opposite. I have a girl first and then a boy. Cool beans. Cool beans. This would all have to be in alphabetical order for me because I just can't. I can't and I can't deal with it this way. I get myself all confused. Okay, so what did I do? I have oh I need a pen. I need a pen or something. I need a, some kind of marking utensil. See, I'm trying to, I mark the ones that I have. I forget what I did, the, what I did. Um, those little dashes. Candy or gum wrapper. Okay, I have those. Label off a can. It's number one, guys. Okay, I got that. I think I might have had tissue paper, quote, washi tape. Note to self, feather, uh, oil. <laughs> I'm looking for mushrooms. Veggie stickers. I found veggie stickers. I didn't know I had that. I was just so excited. I like uncommon names. There's mushrooms. Woo, 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 number 63. Okay, I've got to put them on my page. I've been putting the numbers on my pages. Not page numbers, but like this is number 29. Boop, boop. That's the flip out or whatever. Okay. So I didn't know. I just, you know, I have some ideas of things that I want to be doing and get done. And I thought I'd like to do some artist treating cards and haven't done any in a while hello miss angie brown so i thought that's what i'd like to do and what i thought i might do um was to use my jelly plate in some fashion to get a base down on the cards that didn't work so that didn't work so swell i was messing around with my um jelly plate again today that's why my hands look all 
Okay. And so I had a kind of last minute um, switch gears a little bit. So I had done a, uh, I think a video. No, it might have been a live where um, this gal had talked about using playing cards uh, to make ATCs or artist trading cards. And the thing is, for me, like some of the gals get a big sheet of paper and they make their trading cards or postcards or whatever. But see, there's measuring involved with that. And Mino likes to do the measure. So when I saw this video of this gal doing the uh, cards, I thought, oh, yeah, that, that's swell. So that's really what I did. And... For those of you who may not have been with me or watched that that video, uh, I, I prepared a couple of sets of those that I'm going to wor work on this evening. But just basically what she does is she lays her cards out. And she she does like 10 or 12 or whatever. And then she takes washi tape to hold them together. Now, when I did that... Um, my washi tape, of course, washi tape, again, is not to be permanent. And it picked up and I found myself having to glue it. And that was annoying for me. So this time around, I used duct tape. So then all I did was take my very sticky duct tape. And this time I just did a set of six. I think the last time I did like 10 or 12. And uh, it was okay, but that was a little annoying too. And then I just cut little strips similar to what, you know, washi tape would be. My autofocus, I don't believe is on. And I have problems the other day. I can't get to my camera to get to the settings. And I thought if I brought my camera, I watched some videos to see how to do it, but I can't get to my camera because StreamYard is using it and I didn't want to delete anything. Hey, Joyce. So I thought if I bring it down lower, like this one man said, if your camera's up too far, it'll keep trying to focus. But see, I see it still. I, I don't know what to do. There's a little lens I can buy, but I don't have that yet. And it just started doing it since I had problems the other day. And I don't know how to get to, I don't know how to get to my camera in my Logitech software. Like when I go in there, it says the camera is unavailable. And that's, that's like if I, if I shut everything down. So I don't know how to, I'm so challenged. I don't know how to do it. And I don't know, um, I don't know what I can put on my desk, like that my camera could focus on. Is it better if if it's down lower? Like, is it still popping? Yeah, see, as soon as I move my hand, it pops. See, and I can't tell how close. Let me see how, let me, let me pull this up on my phone. Let me pull me up on my phone. And um, see if I can see how bad it is. Or if it makes any difference. And um, see if I can see how bad it is. Oh, I just really don't think I've got a very appealing voice. So I am. I, I'm, I'm, hey, there's Shelly. Hi, Shelly. Shelly, your grandson is so cute. He's getting so big. Yeah, it's better lower. Thanks, Renee. Um, so then all I did was go ahead and tape these together, both sides, you know, so they stay and they don't like, you know, rich around. They, they're going to stay, you know, fairly close. I and, mean, you know, you want them fairly close, but eventually you're going to rip them. You're going to not rip them. You're going to cut them apart. And then she went ahead and painted and whatever. Now I went ahead and tried them on my jelly plate to get a. I, thank you, Barbara. A lot of people say that, but I, I, I just, 
think it's like kind of boring. Anyway, I just promised my girlfriend, Jean, I would stop trying to say derogatory things about myself. And there I go, busting on my voice. I'm thankful I have a voice. And then, oh, see now, see how these are, it's too flippy, too flippy floppy. You want those to kind of stay stay together as best as you can. And I know, you know, texture is great and all that jazz, but I don't want a lump of tape. And your tape doesn't have to line up. And then she went ahead and I'll, I'll have to find her and link her, her um, video in this, in this uh, live. And then she did this side and then she just went ahead and painted and do whatever she wanted to decorate her cards and turn them into ATC, ATCs. So you get the picture, right? So when I, I was going to sand these a little bit because they're glossy. Oh, she's got to go because her head hurts. Oh, I hope you're feeling better, Jen. Hey, Janet. Nice to see you. Um, But I forgot to do that this afternoon. So when I started, I was trying to get a base coat down. So I didn't have to like paint them with a brush or a sponge or whatever. And then I started pulling the paint off when I forgot to sand them. And woo! so anyway, what I ended up with was I really was trying to concentrate on the backs of the uh, cards. So I have them together in sets of six. That my backs, I think, are pretty much done. I might want to do something around those ta that tape. But I'm going to be decorating the front sides. And, of course, I'm not going to get to all of these tonight. But I want to be, I wanted to be prepared. Right? So what I did was just took my brayer. I brayered on some paint. I did a little bit of stamping. You can see I did some spattering. And I probably will do some, once the cards are cut apart, do some inking around the, the edge. Um, but then I, now I have to figure out something to do on this side. All right. So that's what I'm going to be working on. Any questions? Or if you need me to, to see what you're saying, there's my sister Jackie. Eden's Essentials is my sister Jackie. And she's also the nail lady. So if anybody has any questions. Hi, Jack. So I think I'm going to work on this one. And of course, I'm going to work on this side. Now, these were some cute cards and they had some different um, pictures on the cards themselves. But I don't really care about that. So I just went through and pulled out some stuff. Now, I've dried some rose petals. So I've got those. I've got some book pages. This is um, a piece of the Sears catalog that Kathy gifted me. I thought I might use a little bit of that. I've got my tissue paper that Kath gave me. And I'm going to definitely be using some of this, some of this, and some of that. And her stamps. And look, she gave me all this stuff. I'm, I'm thinking about using some fabric. So I'm just going to get rocking and rolling and we'll see what happens. So I just think if I, well, if I stamp on it now, I'm not going to really see it. I was thinking about getting out some uh, tissue paper, but I didn't do it. Or not tissue paper, napkins. So this is just a, a um, I think this is maybe a, uh, it's got the word britches here. I want to kind of keep that. A, a, uh, I think this might be a kid's dictionary. So I'm just, you know, you know how we do. I thought about doing prompts. And then I thought, eh, you know, sometimes uh, I don't think the prompts go so well for me. I don't want to say I'm, I'm prompt challenged, but I might be. So I might lay that out. I didn't dig out napkins. I've got everything stacked in front of the drawer where the napkins go. I just I just did a um,
Julia Child and threw some paper on the floor. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so my sister Jackie is expecting her third grandchild in March. And we're hoping for a girl. Hoping and wishing and praying. She's got two little boys that are adorbs. And Renee, her grandchildren's names aren't normal either. So. <laughs> Renee. Okay, so I'm just going to start putting some of this other stuff down. And as most of you know, it's all this stuff is just really about layering and doing what you like. So I might build some clusters. And I'm just going to start laying this out. Because people send you happy mail and you want to send a little something out. It's nice to have some cards or something that you can pop in the mail. And I don't. I don't have any. Not a, not a one. I took a, a drink of my soda and I think I got... I think I spritzed it all over. So I spent most of the day uh, you know, I guess I could just use a glue stick and see how that works initially. That's, I mean, that's just the easiest thing to do. Uh, working with my jelly plate to just cover some, uh, I took apart a um, National Geographic because I want to oh, you know what I should do? I want to um, make more of those stitched books like Shannon Green makes. I've been really, you know, I haven't been hawking her channel, but, you know, I've been, I've been watching and doing some stuff, you know, like the beads and stuff like that. <clears throat> so I didn't want the, I didn't, you know, I didn't want the pages to be plain. So I was just doing paint yeah. on the jelly plate. And, uh, you know, lost track of time, really, if I'm, if I'm going to be honest. And then had to rush and get some dinner and all that jazz. All that jazz. Now, I could use my... Um, Golden map medium, you know, for glue, which normally I would do, but then you have to get your dryer out. So we'll see how this goes for this first round. Who did I miss? Is Kristen here? Designs and do overs. That's Kristen. Hey, Kristen. Welcome, welcome to everyone who's here. Okay. So I'm just trying to create uh, backgrounds that I can then go ahead and build on top of to make something cute. Now I did pull out um, several of my little plastic containers with things in it. So I think I've got some butterflies, I've got some Timmy people, and that sort of thing. Now what I was thinking is I want to maybe stamp. I still haven't found Elvis. I don't know what I did with Elvis. He's he's gone a wolf. So that's not good. 
see like these cards they had the backs were kind of pretty but they had um little like i think japanese uh landmarks so you can see one there that's uh, not quite covered up so that might be enough of that that might be enough of that jazz see i've got some of these little clocks or dials or gears or whatever the heck you call those things yeah, and just heading out is she going to that mexican restaurant day is she going to eat dinner elvis has left the building yep all right let's see if i have a juicy um i don't know how juicy this will be a juicy uh, ink pad. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of in a rut with the tulips, but I, I really do like the tulips. But let's, let's, um, let's do some script. Let's see if we can get some script across here. Now, I don't want it to look real square, and I don't want to be able to really see the edge. So let's just uh, put some ink in the center and see how that looks that's not too shabby does anybody trade these anymore like when i came on the scene and um started to watch youtube art channels i missed that whole um artist trading card fad or whatever maybe it still exists i don't know but i know i probably would have been involved if i you know had tuned in sooner but i really didn't um really didn't find youtube until i came to jersey you really can't see this so much it's just kind of subtle but that's okay. So you're just, it, I mean, it's almost like a pick 10, except I'm doing my own thing. I'm not drawing um, ideas or prompts, as we call them, out of, uh, out of a, you know, a box. Hey, Dana. Yes, you still trade them? Cool. When I was in the hospital, I guess it was, um, gosh, what issue was that for? I guess it was over a year ago now. And um, the infectious disease doctor came into my room and saw me sketching and got talking. And he was saying, oh, my, my wife collects these little these little cards and I said ATCs and he's like yeah so I thought that was kind of cool Dana says I did my first ATC in September with Beth Schuler cool very good all right so this is looking nice and jumbly now i don't want to ink any edges or anything yet because see i'm going to take them apart so this is a way to do a background where i've got them all together but it's not a solid sheet of paper that i have to measure and get them cut exactly you know the same which most of us know Lori's not very good at that all right, so I've got some butterflies, but I've also got some tinny people. And these don't have to be exactly the same. Right? These can be different. So let's plan on that because these are for me. I don't have to send 3700 to an other people. So I can do what I want. I don't know if these will really show up. There's a single wing. Let's see. Now that's just way too big. 
for the card. I don't think you really want anything hanging over, right? Because most folks, I think, that do this, they um, probably keep them in a book, right? Or in like a little... No way, Dana. You're finished yours too? Oh my gosh, I feel like such a underachiever. My goodness. I don't even think I have 10 prompts done. I don't think. Well, good for you. Did you have fun doing it? Oh, my camera's still popping. I got to get that figured. It was so good for so long. And the only thing that was wrong was that um, my my uh, cord for my battery was had come loose. And I didn't realize that was the problem. And um, hubby figured that out after the fact. But I disconnected a camera somehow and reconnected. I don't know. And now I got the popping back. Kristen said it's been fun watching you guys do all, do the scavenger hunt. Hey, Sherry. Hi. Okay. So I think that might work. Now let's see what else we have here. I don't think I want any of that stuff. I don't want any of that stuff. Hmm. Some of these little bits might be nice. Let's see what we have in here. Look, I found some mushrooms. I might have to might have to pull those out for my mushroom page. I mean they're really tiny, but I can always decide not to use them. All right, so let's get some other things that I can start building on some of these so if you're going to do atcs and you don't have a theme and you just want to sit down and make some you just rummage through your ephemera ephemera and see what you can come up with and i don't have a theme so that works well for me okay let's see if that guy can look cute there that might look cute there now kathy cowl um gifted me some really cool stuff oh look at this this is a cute little it's got a cute little bird uh oh just got a buzz on the phone got a buzz on shake well before using Well, we'll see how. Oh, what's this? It's a little florist sign that might look cute behind their head. All right. Now, I think I want some fabric. So I have some of this fabric here. Uh, if you have any questions or something I need to see, guys, don't be don't be as scared to put it in capital letters. Oh, small piece of paper, I mean fabric. I'm probably not going to be able to tear. Give me a little more leverage, nah. It's not going to go. Want them, I think, a little more, a little more skinny. A little more skinny, and crooked. So these are these are working out well. Yeah, I'm not sure of the exact size, but I know someone said probably Dee Dee. Um. That uh, a, a playing card 
is a, is a good size for it. Let's get out the uh, vintage photo. Barb, I might have to get out the uh, tomato paste later. And let's ink some of this stuff. I'm thinking I might like to raise up, but it's probably not a good idea to raise things up either, right, guys? Might need some little words to stamp on there. Now, I want to grunge up my fabric a little bit. And I'm just going to start maybe layering, layering some stuff. So let's start in the bottom corner here where these little kittles are. All right, I'm going to get out my fabric tack. I'm a resident to leave this upside down because I did that once before and it leaked out of the cap and I lost like half the bottle of glue. But it does take a while for you to shake, shake, shake it down. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Come on. Come on. There we go. Now, I like the fabric tag because, number one, it works with fabric. But it sticks down pretty quick. So, I'm going to put some fabric there. I'm thinking about putting those little people there. I'm trying to remember what Tim. Okay. Uh, Barbara says, Lori, I was in someone's stream. I think it might have been yesterday anyway. And I was saying that the chat about you, that your tomato piece, everyone. <laughs> yeah. We were watching, gosh, this has been a while ago, right, Barbara? We were watching Xena, the, sa the sassy crafter. And she gets out this tube of stuff. And she was really inking, and it was, I mean, it just really looked great. I'm like, what is that stuff? So she told me, and of course I had to get it. I think Mary bought some too. I'll show you in a second. I got it, I got it right next to me here. And I gotta I gotta see where the edge of the card is. Those kids are not that tall. And it just looked like, you know, like the real, um, the real good cooks probably use this stuff when they make their tomato sauce and stews and stuff. And that's what it reminded me of. So we were laughing because I know we were calling it that. Now, keep in mind, this is a lifetime supply. Look, it looks like it's been leaking. Vintage antiquing paste. Look at the size of that baby. But doesn't it look like one of those tomato paste tubes? I haven't used it in a while, as you can see. All right, I didn't pull out any, and I think I'm going to need to find some. I didn't pull out any... Um, You know, dirty gauze. And inch left. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, you know what I'm talking about. Um, it never comes to me. That and that other glue never comes to me. Never, never, never. I think I'm going to turn on my hot glue gun.
Okay, so Barbara's correct in the the ATC measurements. All right, this is just some thread. I think I want to put some thread down here. And uh, maybe not the pink. I still can't think of it. Cheesecloth. Holy mackerel, Annie. Sometimes it's hard to pull that stuff up out of your brain. All right, I need some kind of little, I need some kind of little word stamps or something because I want to put something on the little, it's not really a sticker, kind of looks like a sticker, but it's not really a little labely, little labely thing. Let's see if I have something teeny tiny in here that's not too out of bounds. Like I don't want happy holidays because they're over. I want to be able to use this, make a wish, always and forever. Best wishes. I thought I put all the... I, I know, I mean, I don't even know why we questioned it, Barbara. You're always correct. Correctamundo. I'm seeing a lot of... Oh, here's one. Hello. Hello, friend. I could just do hello. If I can get it on there. Appropriately. Would be lovely. Okay. My Fabri-Tac is now glued to my plastic case. Okay. Hello, Mara. Okay. Uh-oh, hand, hand cramping. Does anyone know if Murray has another jar of yes paste? She has been scraping. I know. Hey, Shannon. Um, I don't know. I know she's been saying she's got to order another one, but I don't know if she has. All right, so that can go there. And maybe we need a little bit of fabric that's got a little something, something else going on on this card. This is a little batik. I'm going to try to cut this a little, a little more nicer. That one looks like it. Went loop de loo. Here we go, loop de loo. Here we go, loop de lie. So, when I was messing around with my jelly plate this afternoon, I thought I had a breakthrough. I had a really good, hey Pam, I thought I had a really good um, pull. Like, it just, I was doing the National Geographics and some of the ink was coming off onto the plate, and I thought I could do a transfer. And I tried a couple and it, you know, wasn't so great. And then I pulled one and it was fabulous. And I thought, okay, I'm finally getting this. Well, that was the last one I got. There she is. There's that Ange. Oh, thank you, Jen. Th 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 these are fun to do for sure. All right. So now I'm going to put these, I think here. I got my little hello, but see, I've got a, um, I don't know that I want to. I don't know that I really want to cover up, but you can't really see the tulips either. The tulips are kind of um, secondary, really. What if I put uh, a Lipton tea bag stringy thingy here? All right, hon. Hun's going out. 
Angela was trying to think of um, that word I never can think of, cheesecloth. And I said D dirty gauze, and I, I thought you would remember, but you had gone. But I eventually, eventually kicked into my brain. Okay. Maybe I'll go down this way with this. And I'm thinking popping them up is not a great idea because especially you're going to do crafting now, Ange. Okay. Um, especially if you want to put it in the mail. You know, they get a little testy if things are a little too thick. Putting glue boogers on everything. I got to find some cheesecloth. Um, where's the last place I had? Oh, I know. I know. I know where it is. I shocked myself. I'm getting better and better and better at this all the time. What are you working on, Ange? Or is it a secret? Is it a secret? I'll just whack off a piece of that. There's a lot of good stuff in this tin. Okay. See, so you just need some fluff sometimes. I could put my little hollow right there. And then my butterfly. Now, this is acetate, so I'm thinking it may not be a good idea to put hot glue on that. It's a secret. Okay, Ange. I won't tell Ron. And if you're new to all this jazz, this is just, you know, it's whatever you feel like. There's no science to this. They, they get out that plastic doodad and measure and then they wet. Yes. Yes. Those postal people. That's why people go postal. I think the fabric tack would hold it okay, though, but I just. That's. Let's push the envelope a little. All right, that might that might need a little a little jewel or gem or something on it. Now these little kids, um, I guess it's alcohol markers. I'm trying to think. Um, Like if I wanted to say I wanted to put a little color on his shirt, a headless violin. It's on. I can breathe now. Hurrah! Put the top on the clue, please. <laughs> hey, headless! I haven't met you before. Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Okay, let me pick out, uh, let's see here, let's do, you probably won't even really see this all that well, but let's, uh, see, that's, and some of these might be dry. So let's, I'm just going to paint his shirt in. It's very subtle. Just give him a little blue, and I'm going to put blue on her little hair ribbons. But we need something. We need something, something down there for sure. Mm. 
Hmm. See, that's too much. It covers up my fabric. Pam's at the airport waiting for your flight. Are you um, going directly home, Pam, or are you stopping and visiting someone like your sister or something before you actually get home? You don't have to answer that. I, I, why, why, I, I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so nosy. Truly, I don't know why. I mean, I'm interested, but... All right, so let's think. I'm thinking about this here. So I'm going to ink and rink that. I've got a butterfly here. Got this little bird. Let's ink all these things. Now, Kathy gave me... Um, Some postage. Oh, I just colored their faces. That looks good. I don't know why I'm thinking of that skin of a rink a dinky song. Where did I, I need something, I think, like, um, let's get something brighter on, on this little bride here. How big is this beauty you are working on, please? They're going to be ATC cards, which are the size of a playing card. And just give me one moment and I'll show you what I did was. I started out with six playing cards. And then I painted and stamped. Whoop. So the backs kind of look like this. And now I'm decorating the front side. And they'll be cut apart. So they will eventually be just the size of one card. And they're called artist trading cards or we call them ATC. And yeah, I'm not liking that. I think I want to twist something. Uh, Pam said I would have been home already, but they needed volunteers to take a later flight. And they would provide a voucher worth. Oh, very nice. So why not? Absolutely. Nice, Pam. Yeah, as long as you could do it and you, you didn't have to rush to, to get home. Oh, that's fabulous. And then, you know, the next time you've got a voucher to go towards your trip, right? Oh, that's wonderful. Wonderful. Somewhere I saw, yeah, I think I want something like this. You know, if you ever buy any of those little packages of the Timmy stuff, they've got a lot of these little, um, like, label-y type things in them. And some of them are really, really tiny. But they're all very cute. I think I might want to put something like that on there. And from the market, I bought some kind of stitched, but this is fabric, but I, I bought um, paper ones that one of the girls made. And... Lori doesn't remember where she put that. And then Kathy sent me postage stamps. Shannon, it looks like you're doing a great job with the crocheting. You're, that one shot you had posted, I don't know if it was on Facebook, 
I mean, your stitches look nice and even. You're doing terrific. Maybe if I find something blue, these are kind of, these are all red. I could, oh, 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 oh. That might be a little too bold. Oh, look at that one. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, let's get her one there somewhere. Let's get her somewhere. Look at this, a 32 cent stamp. Madam C.J. Walker, I think it says. Black Heritage. Oh, this is a beautiful picture. Okay, let's see if we can get her on one of these here. OTCs. Maybe she will look cute over here. I need like a little skinny strips. I'm leaving on a jet plane. Oh, Renee, I didn't know you were a songstress. Don't know when I'll be back again. Oh, babe, I hate to go. Started too low. How low can you go? Now, this is really working in tight, tight quarters here. Tight quarters. Because they're small. And you can do these individually, too. Hey, Lizzie. Oh, Lizzie, I have been messing around with paint. Look at my, look at my fingers. I've got two sets sitting here. Where do you see? This is what's going on next. This is Purple Ray, R-A-E. And this is going to go on my middle finger and my thumb. And then these are going to go on the other fingers. Can you see? They've got little like hash marks in them. This is Dazzling Dina. Purple. It's like purple and Merlot. Can't wait to put them on. And I was going to do it today, but see, look. I was using paint and stain. I thought, you know what? I got, I got to wait one more. Got to wait one more day. Ah. <sighs> Okay, I think I need another little, um, see the brain's just starting to go. Um, Headless says, I moved the end of last year and I have lost so much of my play stuff. So annoying. Had to go and get some more Velcro today. I know. And you know what? As soon as you start to use that new stuff, you're going to find your other stuff. And it's purple ray for the win. <laughs> Hi, Kellyanne. Yeah, that Merlot is really pretty. pretty. It's To me, it's like a Merlot color. I mean, really, what do I know? I don't drink. It's just what I would think Merlot would look like. All right, I'm running out of space here. I think I want to ink this little piece of doily. Paper doily. It's paper doily. And... I think I want to put a little piece behind this little young lady here. Somehow. Somehow. Somewhere. Somehow. Oh, that says britches. I don't want to put her where it says britches. Let's put her over here. I don't got no britches over there.
See, and I could trim that after I, I think I kind of like that on them, even though it's a wedding thing. I wonder if I can make this a little bow. Okay, what are we singing? Henry John Dusseldorf Jr., a.k.a. John Denver wrote, I am, oh, did he? Oh. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Headless. You're working up a sweat, Ange. Take it easy. Ange, did you meet my sister? My sister Jackie's here. Jackie, this is Angie. She's our uh, cheerleader at our virtual market. And sometimes she misbehaves and she's got to go to the mushroom for a timeout. But she's usually pretty good here. John Denver sang it too. Put that there, and that could be trimmed. Hmm. Sometimes you give yourself too much to think about when you do this stuff. I think I'm going to put that there. She sounds like our tiny. Right, exactly, Jack. Okay. Now this purple glue will disappear. It'll it'll dry clear. So don't be a fretting about that. Now, where are those little kids? Where do you see the faces on this? Where do you see the face on this little guy? I should have put him up where the britches are. Well, he's got britches on. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that. Look how cute he is. Can you see his little face? Look at him. I love his little face. He's got him some britches. I'll do that there. I don't want Headless freaking out about my glue. Okay, so now down here I need... I need... Um, I need a focal point or something. Maybe I'll do... Um, let, me pull out a, let, me, let me pull out a little bit of... Pull out some flurs. Let's get a flur. Hey, Janice. It's a freaking folk song. Us elders know folk songs. Folk songs. <laughs> uh, oh, there's some mushrooms in here, guys. Look at there. Okay, now I need something small. That might work. Ooh, this might even be better. Uh, no. No, I think that'll work. There's another bug. Le bug. Le bug. There's Nettie. Hi, Nettie. Okay, here we go. We're going to ink this. Now, I got to get moving if I'm going to get a couple of these done tonight. I can't be, uh, can't be farting around. Teresa? Did I miss Teresa? Hey, Teresa. Nice to see you, Allie Kay. Hello, Allie. Okay. It's like the, it's like the whole gang's here. Okay. Ugh. Put that down. And, ow.
That looks okay. I'm gonna have to dig out some words too, I'm thinking. I'm a thinking. I didn't stitch my, there's a old gray hair. <clears throat> I didn't stitch my little book together yet. Haven't dug out the, the sewing machine's really not buried. It's just sitting on the back end of the table. Too far from the plug. Okay, let's see. That's what we got so far. See, and then I'm thinking I'll put some word there, right? Some kind of a word. Oh, I wonder if, wait a minute, Kathy's got this cute. Are there any words on here? So where's my, um, well, there might be something. Let's see. Here's in Roebuck. Catalog. Hmm. I can't even say that. Perspicaciousness. Perplexed. Peter Pan. Purse, purse, because, per, perspicacity. Perspicacity. Hey, Chris. Skid a marink a dink a dink. Skid a marink a do. I love you. Do 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 do. Skid a marink. A dink a dink. Okay, so let me get these kids here. And then I think this. Oh, I need some hot glue here. I might have to get out a button. Oh, I hope I can find a button. Now I'm just wondering. If I use my Stabilo pencil around these little kids, if that might, you know, look good, help them, you know, stand out a little bit. I think this needs a little something. Okay, so who are the ATC? Um, All right, Headless is off to sleep. Have a good rest. And thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. You have a good snooze and a good week. Um, the ATC um, experts here, like, is it a problem if I would put like a little flur that has... Um, you know, Jack, I was wondering, I saw something come up and mom said, um, what catalog? So I don't know if she was talking to us. I told Brian I was streaming, so maybe he told her, hey, mama, if you're out there, I love you. Okay, so maybe a little, couple little flowers like if the flowers aren't too um like these are squishable you know there's two little blue yeah. ones look darling she is watching she just said love you too she's messaging me privately <laughs> Franny. <clears throat> Is Dana still here? 
Christy, that's not, that's not too, they're not too thick. But they would certainly go in an envelope easy enough. I was just seeing, I like to do things in threes. I was just seeing if I have a third one of that little. Maybe my bride needs a real, no, nah, that's too big. Too big and clunky. That's a pretty one. Maybe across the bottom. See how we can get distracted very easily? See, so you get looking at all your stuff you haven't looked at in a while. And that's the rub. Oh, did anybody ever make any of these? She car makes these. It's a, like a little paper clip. Well, I didn't decorate the hearts. If you girls, if anybody here, I think we're all girls. Raul didn't say hi, did he? Did I miss him? If you haven't watched G. Kerr, you need to check her out. I sneeze a lot and it stops me from sneezing because folks steal it. Hmm. I miss whatever was said there about sneezing. Okay, I don't want to use any of that stuff yet. All right, so I think I'm going to just put those two little blue roses there, which two is really kind of against my norm. Lori, I made my string guy pants go up and down. What, for the, um, for the scavenger hunt, Dana? Are you going to post it? Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> All right, a little bit of hot glow. If I can get it to. I didn't turn it back off, which I've been known to do. There it goes. Dana, can you check on Jen? See how she's feeling? She was in a little bit ago, but she wasn't feeling very well. Her sinuses are giving her a run for her money. Okay. So I think, except for a word, I think that one's done. This one's done. All right, these little kettles over here. Let's let's get something going. Here, I put that there. Maybe a button. Let's get a button. Button, button. Who's got buttons? Oh, if I can get the drawer open, which will be a challenge for sure. Usually Mondays, I spend Monday um, cleaning up from Sunday, but I didn't do that today. I was playing with that darn jelly plate. That is so, that is so addicting. All right, so I've got green, which might look kind of cute because it's kind of looks like grass. I mean, I've got other colors too. I can. I can dig for more. I just grabbed a little handful. I'm kind of liking that green one. Or I've got this little tiny white one. Chris, you're getting ready to finish yours too? Okay, Barbara. Oh my gosh, everybody's got... Jeez. That wasn't a math question. Oh, dear, Nettie, I'm sorry. I thought you said two twelfths multiplied by. <laughs> I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to go there with the math. I don't really think I have anything flatter than a. How would it? How weird would it look if I put a little mushroom here? Let's just say.
I don't know. I kind of like it. Hey, Candy. Did I see Candy? There she is. Hi, Candy. And then I could put another piece of, um, I kind of, oh, I kind of like that there, guys. On top of the, uh, I'm going to do the mushroom. Let's uh, we'll do another. We'll do another inking. I'm going to hot glue this a little bit on the bottom. Okay, that is outside of the box. Outside the box. All right, so now I'm doing this on playing cards so I don't have to measure a big sheet of paper and cut things. All right, so I'm going to glue these folks down. Okay, cool, Chris. Chris wants to start streaming uh, early Sunday morning, 7 to 9 Eastern. Okay, cool. Start spreading the news. Do, do, do. Oops, look, he's got glue on the side of his head. Looks like he's got a a growth let's let's remove that for him all right buddy all right now i had a label thingy now what can i maybe i should put a little i need to put a little word or a little something something on there now i was thinking see but this rose really sticks up this little flat rose might be better. That might work. Okay, let's get a little piece of... Um, breakfast with Chris. Oh, that's... Hey, that's great. All right, now I'm pulling this uh, cheesecloth out a little bit. That might be a little, that's much too large. So let's give it a little snip. Hmm. <laughs> Might have to bunch that up a little. Ah, oh, what I didn't pull out was um, already pre. Now this might. Yeah, these are seasonal, but I might be able to find something that will work. Whoa! Don't don't tip anything more. I want a little something right there. Uh, oh, forever. Forever would work. This is looks like a wedding couple to me. So where did I just see forever? There it is. There it is. Now when I get these little word books, I like to go through and rub my... Um, ink on there so that when I want to use one it's ready to go I want that to stick off to the side a little bit I will say Chris has a lovely voice. I just heard her voice the other day. <laughs> it was fun. Mary had a little meetup. She called it a little meetup. And it was fun hearing her voice. 
Roy was there. I heard Roy before. And of course, Becky popped in. And we know that Becky's voice. And of course, Murray. And then there was a Rose Ann. And Chris. And then I had to scoot. Okay. So let's do that. And then with my hot glue, I'm going to put that. Now, when I first started doing this stuff, um, it took me a little bit to, um, you know, start layering and, and not be afraid to put stuff on top of each other. Yes, you also show your face, which was also very cute. Right, so I think that's done. That's done. This one's done. I say done, but you know, I have to ink the edges. Now I've got the little britches over here, the little britches. And I've got this lovely lady. Hmm. Ooh, 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 what if I took a piece of mm, that's not big enough how can i be sure in a world Okay, girlfriend, have a good evening. Thanks, Barbara. In a world that's constantly changing, how can I be sure? Um, I had this little piece of doily I was thinking about popping under. Uh, I don't know if I like that so much anymore. How about a piece of real, real lace? How about a piece of real lace? Okay, let's see. Oh, candy. Oh, Candy, were you at school or were you at home? Oh, my. Okay, yeah, Becky Ann's. Oh, that is scary. I want to say Carol, but I don't know if I have it right, Becky Ann's. Becky Ann's Creations. So you're going to see the doctor, Kent? She's got an appointment. Oh, my. This might be a little too chunky than what you're... Patty in. Jeez, okay. Patty Ann, Patty Ann, Patty Ann. Bucky Ann, Patty Ann. Okay, thank you, Patty Ann. I wonder if Pam got on her flight. I guess she did. Yeah, I guess. You were exhausted. Oh, my. No, you were off. Oh, right, Martin Luther King Day. Okay, and you were coming home. From something that flipped up, flipped past me. Right, one more thing. Well, it's best to get it checked out, right? Let's pray for Candy right now. Dear Lord, we bring before you our friend Candy. She had that episode you know very well today. And I believe, Lord, that you're in control of all things. And so, would you please wrap your arms around our dear Candy? And, um, just give the doctor wisdom to allow them to know what's going on with her and they can get the get it straightened out. It's scary for us, Lord. And we just put 
her in your hands and um, ask that um, the doctor would have extra wisdom and uh, give her the best care. Uh, I'm thankful that we can come to you, Lord. For it's in your name that I pray. Amen. Yeah, I guess so. We'll take it easy. Oh, my. Okay. I think I might put a little bit of co extra color on here. Now, I guess I want some fabric tack here. I kind of like this one little piece I got working there. Oh, and I want to put my lace down. <laughs> well, maybe he'll like it, Candy, and he'll do it more. <laughs> See? They can do it if they need to. Oh, you probably didn't even feel like eating anything, right? Okay. Yes. Good point, Allie. Yeah, just take it. Take it easy. Uh, getting up and down. Don't rush. Give yourself a minute before you get moving. That's what I keep telling my neighbor. But she gets up and phew, darts, you know. All right, that might have a little trouble gluing down. I'm going to hold that for a minute. You will not boil water. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, see, that kind of stuff's foreign to me. My dad um, really was self-sufficient. I should say our dad. If Hey, Leah. Um, and uh, my husband certainly is. But there are a lot of guys that aren't. But... They won't starve. If if uh, worse comes to worse, they'll get in the car and go get something, right? Okay. Okay, does someone have britches? Pin down. I still got plenty of room under this gal here. So let's do something else with her. Um, I don't like that. I don't want to put a, I don't want to put a bug, maybe flowers. Let's, let's see if we can find her a little flower. Let's see. See, look at this little tiny thing. This is in the wrong box. Timmy's got all these little, little tiny bits. And that's much too big, but that would be pretty on her. And then all this other stuff in here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. More mushrooms. Oh. That's a, you know, that's not that pretty either. Where's, um, maybe one of those. I saw a... And she's doing secret things again. 
Oh, this is too thick, I'm sure, but boy, that would be pretty on her. Oh, look at this one. All right, let's see. Let's see what we can do. Headless went to bed, so she's not yelling at me to get my lid on my glue. Maybe I could flatten this a little. How can I be sure? I think I need a little satin ribbon or something there. Uh, what was I just looking at the other day? Oh, yeah, I bought, um, oh, I don't think it's the right color. I ran into Michael and they had their Christmas stuff marked way down. And I'm always looking for, yeah, this won't be good. It's too green. I was thinking that little bow. It's too green. Uh, oh. Avalanche. I feel like I feel sure. That's not narrow enough. That's too red. See, I had all my Christmas stuff sitting here close to um Oh, 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 oh. Hold it, hold it. Here we go. This might be nice. Let's see how this works. Okay, let's patty and say in here. Just take it, yeah, just take it easy, Candy. Yes. Stay away from the caffeine. In a world that's constantly changing. How can I be sure? I don't know why some of these songs are in my head. If my mother's still here, that's that's it's my mother's fault. This is how she was when we were kids. She'd say something and then start singing a song. Thank you, Ma. Okay. Jackie, I was telling uh everyone on Sunday what fun we had watching our movies I really enjoyed I enjoyed them both but I really enjoyed the main event I forgot how how fun that one was uh, I don't want this to be too thick but I wanted a little a little fuller than just a regular bow I think we'll see Okay, can you believe it's taken me all this time to do six little ATCs? She's playing Name That Tune. Your mom did that too, Patty Ann? Yeah, see, it's just, I don't know. And my husband would say, every time you go in the kitchen, you start singing. I'm like, I can't help it. I'm, first of all, I'm a happy person. Well, you know, that's a good thing. Of course, we, our house is um, small. And, uh, oh, this got lopsided. And it's all open. Oh, my sister went to bed. Oh, good night, Jack. I don't think she went to bed. It's too early. Or maybe she's not feeling good. But she was she was at her daughter. She might she might be headed home. Her daughter, my niece, as I said earlier, is uh, expecting her third in March, and they don't have a vehicle that fits everybody. So she had to get a car, a different car. And of course, they didn't have any. She had to order, had to order it. So it was coming in today. So I think Jack was watching. I know it's fun, right? Oh, that's okay, Dana. 
Sisters come foist. All right, this may be too big. Yeah, that's too big. I really kind of like this peach. That's too big too, right, for an ATC? I really like that though. All right, let's get over here to the little the little britches here. What? Little britches. You need something. They need something under them. <laughs> Dana. Kathy mm -hmm. stamped on this fabric. Where's another piece of that? Let me see if there's anything I can use here. Nah, you would miss too much of it. Can you, hey, there's um, Kim. Can you deconstruct it? The flower? I don't know if I want to because it's so pretty. I guess I probably could. I don't know. See, this is why I don't use stuff, okay? I've had that flower for like a long... Oh, look. I just spied this out of me one eye. Look, I can take off the... Um, I can take off the pearl. Mini pearl. Oh, there's a blast from the past. Howdy. Talk about showing your age. Dating yourself. My father loved hee haw. I did not like hee haw. Don't walk away, Renee. Okay, so don't put the pearl on. Now I've got these things that I got, and I haven't used any of these either. See, these are like little half backs. A little pearl would be nice, but these are all sh these are all shimmy shiny. Wait a minute, what's that in there? Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. I don't. I'm not feeling the gold. I was not feeling. There's no pearls in there. Uh, I need like a flat back pearl. Well, I could always add it. But I, I do like the, the little flower. Now, if I put alcohol ink on that, um, but I don't know what color I could put on it to maybe knock it, like knock it down. Right, because um, Keisha's always saying, you know, you can just put alcohol ink or make that any color you want. Uh, what if I made it? Uh, see, I don't think the pink I have is going to show up. Let's try this darker one. It may not. It may not work. Let's let's give it a go. If I can hold it and do it. <gasps> it jumped. I forgot I wanted to glue this on down like that. Now I've got that in my head. Don't walk away, Renee. Jeez. I 
got to hold it and let it dry so I can hold the other side. I need my other glasses. <clears throat> oh, those babies could be cleaned. Woo! Well, look at that. She's right. And it just shines. It still shines. That's kind of cool, huh? That's more better. Uh-oh, lost britches. There we go. Here we go, little britches. See, I might have to add something. See, I've got a lot of cards still left underneath of her. But maybe I could put a little something, something under there. I don't know what I want to do with those little kids. Oh, gosh, they're so stinking cute. I love this green fabric. <clears throat> now, this has got a little salvage ed edge. Said she has two names, but she uses one in social media. It's not a bead, it's um it's a flat back. I'm glad my sister left or she'd be telling you my name. Oh, I don't know if my mother's still here. I have to behave myself. I have to behave myself. Okay, I want to get to where I cut these apart. I think I want the kids in front. This kind of looks like a little bit of grass. Let's put this down with um hi Devin. It is Lenore. Is it Lenore? I have two names for you. Is it Lenore? Tweezers. Well, yeah, I could have gotten tweezers. Yeah, that's a that's a good point. Oh, there's Pam. Pam, are you on the plane yet? Um. Sometimes, though, even the tweezers, I I squeeze the tweezers and it goes jumping, jumping, jumping. Okay, now, what else was I going to give those little kittles? I was going to do something else with those little kittles. Don't walk away from me. Look what I have in here. More bugs. Ooh, how about a number? Don't you just love numbers? I tipped that the wrong way. Look, they all fell out the crack of the box. <sighs> struggle, struggle, struggle. It's a gigantic mushroom. Glass, handle with care. Glass is my doctor's name. That's a pretty flower. That would look nice on her. More mushrooms. Oh, you're trying to guess my name. <laughs> oh, hi, Dawn. No, my name is Ethel Lorraine. And my parents, mommy, don't be mad, but this is the truth. They never called me Ethel or Lorraine. They always called me Lori. I was named for a, a friend of my mom's. And there you have it. 
Lorraine is close to Lenore. Yeah. When I uh, worked at the college and I had the students working for me, there was a young uh, lady that worked for me. Her name was Lillian, lovely young woman. And um, when she found out my name was Ethel, she said, you should be using that, Lori. We have us with older names. We have to embrace those older names. I said, you embrace it, baby. I'm going to I'm going to use Lori. <laughs> I used to say, yeah, Ethel, you know, like Lucy's friend. There you go. Okay, so there's those little cherubs. And then we've got the number five. I'm kind of liking that. And then this little gal, I found this fleur. I'm going to ink it. Oh, Patty Ann. I'm sorry to hear that. My mom will be 94 on Valentine's No. 92 on Valentine's Day. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue here because I want that little piece of stuff to kind of wrap around and hang down there. And I might hold off on this flower once I get them apart. So, oh yeah, we have a rogue butterfly here. So I just have to get britches on and then whatever else I'm, I might just wait and find some kind of word. Devin, I was wondering, is where where does Devin come from? Yeah, I remember Ethel Merman for sure. Oh, I'd be old. Kimber, Kim, I think I probably have you beat. Oh, Chris. Um, because you're Yolanda, right? Is is that how you say it, Yolanda? Oh my gosh, I love these kids. Okay, I think I need something maybe behind the five. <laughs> I'm going to put the kids down. Putting the kids down. There's no business. Yes, like show business. Like no business. My name is Yolanda. It's my YouTube channel name. And based on our cat, that was Devin Rex. Oh, that's why the kitties look. Oh, and I made a channel for my boys when they were young. And then I took it over and added the word art. Oh, that's cool, Devin. So you don't mind if we call you Devin. Because some people call you Yolanda. I noticed that. I was wondering about that little kitty. When I worked in uh, the, the I worked at the college, one of my student workers, Jonathan Hardesty, who ended up um, studying to be an artist and is quite accomplished now. And um, loud and proud, that's for sure, Janice. And um, that's when like computers and all that was just, you know, really kind of just new. And I was trying to come up with a name and it was Jonathan that said, well, you like to paint. Why don't you use paint girly? And I just thought it was so clever. So that's where the paint girl is come has come from. And he set it all up for me. And there you have it. That might be just enough. Okay, I need a little additional glue. So if you do ATC cards or any kind of a card like this and you're using playing cards, so you don't have to measure. Um, oops, I forgot to glue down my little jewel. 
uh, then it comes to the point where you have to take them apart. And you could use a pair of scissors or you could use a knife. I think I might try the knife. Because the last time I used scissors, I didn't. it didn't go so good for me. So I'm going to take these apart. So I don't know what I do with my lid to that. Put some of this stuff aside. If I had a pair of them big old scissors like Rosemary Morris has, I'd use the scissors. Because those, uh, what was it, Freddy scissor hands or whatever? You could just go, you know, and bust those babies apart. Now, I just put a new blade in my little cutter, so maybe, let's see. And I'm going to do it from the front side. But see, when I put them together, I left a little bit of space. So I have room to get in there. We lost that. Um, do you say Aloisi? Is that how you say Aloy? I think my, um, we see, we see. We had an Aunt Aloisi. It wasn't Eloise. It was Aloisi. At least that's how my grandmother always said it. So there we've got one. And this one, I need some kind of words there. I do love to put words on. And two. Now, some of them might need a little more of a trim. And this is going to be tough because I have to scoot underneath my tea bag tag. And I kind of went over one toe over the line, sweet Jesus, one toe over the line. Sitting downtown in a railway station. Whoops, I got a little off on that one. Let's see, my blade is sharp. Angel Angela June, cute. Eloise. I think I'm pretty sure my niece likes that one. My uh, youngest niece, not the one that's due in March. Okay. Now see, you've got the curve of the card and I can trim these up a little bit. So let me get a pair of skizzers. Now look and tell me when she's done. I'm done, Ange. I'm using scissors now. See, you really shouldn't, you know, be overly anal about it either, which sometimes I tend to be. So I think I want to find some kind of wording or little phrase or something to put there. But I want to ink the edges as well. And I was going to use that uh, tomato paste stuff. So this one's got a little bit of an overhang. 
Now the tomato paste is tricky. It's very intense and it's very thick. But if you use the um, like a sweeping motion, I mean, Zena is really good at it. She, her, she, her, I mean, hers really looked nice when she was using it. But this will just bring in, I think, um, thanks, Evan. So, and I could come in with my, which I probably, I probably, see, this is, I'm supposed to be trying to, um, not be as, you know, I don't know any other word for it, anal. <laughs> um, this year, I still haven't come up with a word. But see, I like to have those rounded corners. I lost a little bit of that. This one's a little. And then I was thinking I might come around the tape and do something, but... I think they look okay. And then I was thinking about, oh, he has to get away from his little face. Um, coming around some of those little figures. Which one do I like the least? Let's see, where's my... Um, if I use my Stabilo All... Let's try these little kids. Bye, Chris. Have a good night. Now oh, they might be a little, too, might be a little too slick. I should get a water, a water brush out. That one might be the wiser thing to do. I don't know if that's dark enough, really. Could, could come around with paint, but I don't know if I want to do that. I just thought they, you know, might pop a little bit if I uh, put something. Oh, yeah, I, I had done something like this on a live before, Devin. I just took playing cards. Not my idea. I have to link the ladies' um, channel. And. Um, I prepared before I came on tonight. I tried try the jelly plate to like put the backgrounds on and just give me like a starting spot, which didn't go well. So then I um, had to keep doing it and I stamped them and then I just started to decorate the fronts. So all right, let me show you the uh, where's my tomato paste? I did have it out. Here it is. Oh, Barbara's missing it. All right, so let's just take this one. No, that's not a good. Let me put something under me. Now, I haven't used this as an, uh, you can see, laying in the drawer, it's kind of this. This is by um, Stamperia, or Stamperia, however you say it. It's very intense. Ugh. See, whatever I do, whatever I do. Wherever I go, we're gonna get through it together. See, this is how I am. I just, it's just, I think I shall start on the back to try to get my groove on. So I want to take a little bit of the product and start, you know, swirling and rubbing swirling and rubbing 
and then you know you start out here and then you come in ideally that's what you're supposed to do i probably should do black around here but i think this should work on the front and maybe not Ba, 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 ba. Oh, Devin, I should ask you this question. You should, you probably know. Okay, who should Patty and you're getting your you're getting a jelly plate from where? ELZ. You're gonna love it. Yeah, or earlier <laughs> I was saying we Barbara and I were remembering we were in a um, stream. It's been a while ago now with Zena, and she whips out the what she's she's um, inking, and it looks so great. And she had a lot of color on her project, and I'm like, what are you using? And she said, oh, it's this great stuff I found. And she brings out this tube, and I said, it looks like tomato paste tube we all were laughing but can you believe this look at the size of this this is like a lifetime supply and beyond so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to ink the rest of these i might switch to black on with some of these i don't know and then i've got to add some words look i'm getting it all over no matter where i put it Oh, I make a mess. So that be it. So then I have some available if I, you know, would like to send a little something in Happy Mail. And there you have it. Well, I think it's like Really great cooks use this tube stuff. Like I can, I can probably almost bet you that my sister Nancy has one of these tubes of tomato paste in her fridge. But they're not this big. But it is a tube that looks like this. They're usually a little smaller. And like when my son and I were over in Europe, you know, that this is what you saw the tomato paste was in, you know, tubes like this it's just how my mind works I, I don't know i saw it and that's the that's the first thing i thought was tomato paste it looks like a freaking thing of tomato paste imported from italy yeah yeah and i don't even cook but there you have it And you could do these cards, you know, the backgrounds, any way you want. You could stick as many together as you want. I did six for tonight. I've got a couple of sets here ready to go so I can, when I feel like working on some A ATC cards, I can just pull out my little set of six. And, you know, start decorating them. Um, the gal's video that I watched, I think she did 10 or 12. Now you can see, look, can you believe it? I just put my thumb in it and then knocked my, this is how I am with paint. I get it everywhere. Oi, struggle, struggle, struggle. But for those of us who like I, I just really could be bothered with having the big sheet of paper, you know, or um, cardstock, and having to measure and make sure. I did that once, and it was just a freaking nightmare. 
Well, Devin, I should have sanded and I forgot to. So when I put them on my jelly plate, I had a lot was pulling up. So it took me quite a while. And then I just brayered on. Um, I ended up just brayering on some color and then using a stamp. I didn't think about gesso. Gesso would have been a good idea. See, I was trying to, I got, you know, messing around with the jelly plate earlier and I, I didn't clean up early enough and dinner and all that jazz and I ran out of time and so I was trying to get um you know prepared ahead of time so I could just start decorating pretty much tonight and um like the video that I watched the gal used washi tape but the first time I did it I think I have a live I'll have to put that in the link in my box too um she used washi tape she may have glued it down. I didn't. And it, the washi tape, of course, kept coming up. So this time I used uh, duct tape. That worked a little better for me. That seems to be, you know, staying down better. But see how, like, this has the white around it. See, I think I might want to come around that with either the pencil or a marker or something. And then you could doodle. You know, you can do really whatever. But I should have sanded and I didn't. So some of it peeled up, and then that's why I brayered. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. All right, kids, I think I'm ready to get out of here. Um, I think I'm ready to go to my comfy chair and get, you know, coloring or something. Something like that. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for being here. I appreciate it very much. It was good to see you all. And um, don't forget to post those pictures of your scavenger pages. I can't believe so many people are either finished or, or just about finished. Oh, my gosh. It's amazing. So um, have a good evening. Enjoy the rest of your week. I will see you again on Thursday morning, if not before. Uh, Barb Owen just popped on, so if you're feeling like it, pop over and say hi to her. And uh, that's it for me. So I will see you next time. Don't forget, take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.